Hello, welcome to another episode of High Tech Hobbies Workshop. Today I have the Parrot Sequoia multi-spectral sensor on the bench. As you can see, it comes in this really nice waterproof case. In the box, we have the quick start guide, the user guide. On the right here, we have the camera itself. It's a 16 megapixel RGB sensor. And for the narrow band, it has four 1.2 megapixel monochrome sensors in green, red, red edge, and near infrared. Specifically designed for precision farming. It also features 64 gigabytes of internal memory, corresponding to about 10 flights. The multispectral sensor also has an internal measurement unit, a magnetometer, and Wi-Fi, and it only weighs 72 grams. The sunshine sensor is used to calibrate the images depending on the sunlight. This makes it possible to compare photos over time, despite variations in the light condition during the photo shoots. The sunshine sensor is attached to the upper part of the drone facing the sky. During flights, the sunshine sensor is powered by the multispectral sensor, and the multispectral sensor is powered by the drone. The sunshine sensor also has a GPS and GNSS module, also has an internal measurement unit and a magnetometer, and only weighs 35 grams. Okay, let's see what else is in the box. Little wipey for the lens. There's also two sets of wires. One to hook it up to the computer, and one to hook up between the sunshine sensor and the multispectral sensor. This is a protective lens that goes over this to protect it during flights. And then down here, these are just the mounts for the sunshine sensor, which you can hear it clicks in and this will go on top of the drone. In the next video, I'm gonna show how I attach it to my multi-rotor and how I configure the wiring and then I'll do some test flights and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.